What up, guys? This is Chris. This is Wheelhouse Trading, and welcome to the Wheelhouse. Good morning. I uh, hope you're ready to rock and roll because uh, I got a treat for you. I went old school. I used to make these lists where I would dig through like a thousand charts, and I would look for premium technicals, and then I would post the list, and they would all go up. Just like the stuff that I gave you two weeks ago and then reinforced in these last videos and all of them are up. In fact, Asana that was up 11.08% is now up another 9%. Um, you know, the, all this stuff is touching the 20% range in two weeks since I told you guys to buy. Remember, I am a momentum based pivot to pivot swing trader. So I'm always looking for the bottom. Right when it hits the bottom, we, we size up, we scale in, we run to the top. When we get to the top, we trim, and that's how we compound our trades, and we find winners along the way, and we just get that annual annual return way up. Well, we're coming into the fourth quarter, so it's seasonal. That's good. Uh, we have four accumulation days on the macros. That's huge. Um, and like I've been saying, when you have corrections or drawdowns in the market, uh, you get new chart patterns, and new things develop, and the best time to re-enter is when these patterns have their breakouts and the new patterns form. And I just went through hundreds of uh, charts and I narrowed it down. Now there's a lot, but I, I can't put them all in a video and I don't want to overwhelm anybody, but there are some premium technicals, uh, some premium ones that I either own and will add to uh, or, or will be you know, starting to buy heavy on positions as of right now when the market opens. So um, let's go through some of these. And get started. Do me a favor while I'm looking. Can you can you go and you like the video? Uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and select all. A lot of good content on this. This is the winning channel. We're gonna make a lot of money together. Um, and then we're gonna have the courses. Those are those are getting ready to come out first part of November. Um, the Discord is being worked on, so all that's happening. Okay, so I want to just give you premium technicals. Whether the market is red or green, these are looking good to go up. Um, I'm just gonna give you a few that I like as the best of the best, okay? Um, the first one is Playboy. Uh, I'm up about $8,000 in two days on Playboy. I have been waiting for Playboy to, uh, oh, my computer's a little slow here. Okay. So I have been waiting for a long time. Um, I've been swing trading this thing. Uh, those of you guys who know me in some of the discords know that we hit it here. I told everybody to buy and we rolled this whole thing up and we got out right there and we waited and waited and waited. We rebought and we got out about right there and then we waited, waited, waited and we bought in right here. Um, I like you guys to uh, not all, only always follow my exact trades, uh, quite yet until you're really, really good. Um, Cause I want you above the purple line, which is the 200, not just the, the 20, 30, 50, and of course the nine. So as I've been trying to tell you, some of the best times to enter a trade is when you bunch up across all of them. And if you go look at just about any chart, when they do bunch up, that's the beginning of your long-term investment run. Okay, even though I'm a swing trader, I do long-term invest as well. So as an example, um, over here, they all bunched up and this thing ran for a long time. And right now you're at the beginning again. Gosh, my computer is like just crazy lagging right now. I'm trying to go the other way and it's still going this way. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. All right. So Playboy, um, it has been a swing trade. I've been swinging the bottom of the floor because it had validated and I've been just rolling this one up and it's actually turned into quite the winner. But look, we just got, we crossed everything and we just crossed the 200 EMA. We're actually, I don't know if you can see how close that is. See how the little line is just barely above the purple? When I say premium technicals, I'm talking premium technicals. Look over here, look at large premium institutions. How many are picking this up versus selling? Okay, our relative strength index is on its way up. Our vortex is in the right direction. The space between the stochastic and the directional move all signal a buy with volume coming up in the direction of the price action. Okay, it's a winner. Just want to take you through a deeper chart because as you can see, I, I have been swing trading, like I told you, I've been I've been through this. Well, we have uh, validated the bottom, like I told you. We ran this whole thing, we got out. We ran this, we got out. 
Um, and then, you know, I just picked it back up, but look, it is making, again, higher lows and following a, a, a new channel. Now, as long as it's above this purple one and all the other ones, you're getting a trend reversal. But what does signify a trend reversal? What signifies a trend reversal is when it comes all the way down, okay, boom, 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 none of that really matters. It's good that it validates and that you could swing it if you're really good. But what really matters is when you come up above a previous swing high pattern, right here, this blue line. This blue line was $27.55. If you go above that line on the daily candle, which is right here, with volume, that is considered a breakout. A breakout is the beginning of the new bull run, especially when it's a trend reversal and just crossing all of the EMAs. So this is based on the magic T theory. This is the very beginning of this whole thing backwards. So if you were to inverse this, if you were to inverse it, that whole move up is what should be coming for you. So as of this morning, I would say, um, you know, Playboy is looking really good. Yeah, it'll go up and down and up and down and up and down, but it's going to go up more, okay? Especially with that institutional support. Remember what I've been trying to teach you. When institutions buy, you have stability on the position because they're going to protect it and, uh, with their own purchases as well as algorithmic um, settings to protect it on, say, the 50 or the 200 EMA. Well, I showed you that line right over here. It is barely crossing the 200. I mean, it is barely crossing. It just crossed today. That's how tight this is. Look at this red line. Look at the red line. It is barely above the purple. You cannot enter at a better time to go the distance. So Playboy, put it in your wheelhouse. We're ready to run. Um, I got you, what else, on the premium technicals? Okay. This is a really good stock right here. Okay, this has extremely high composite rating. It's it's rated a 99 out of all the stocks in the stock market. Um, it's it's again one of those stocks. It's not a popular stock or a hype stock. It's it's like a Wall Street player make money type stock. Okay, it's called Aries. Aries Management. Now, Aries again is above your 200, which is wonderful. It's in a strong bull trend strong uptrend okay it's through your your 20 your 30 your 50 and your nine now it it had a breakout today okay it had a breakout at 77.88 and it's at 78.56 it had a breakout of a previous swing high like we just talked about with volume over the previous day your relative strength index is going up your stochastic looks a little little strange right there but let's just take a peek on the four hour yeah, on the four hour, you're already good. So that's indicating that, that you're, you're going in the right direction. Um, and, uh, you know, it looks like it kind of came to the top. But what I can tell you is, even though it came to the top, that's good. It, it let it breathe. Let's go look at the four hour. I want to look at something real quick. Yeah, so on the four hour, it's already coming up. That, so people are looking at this. Uh, investors are looking at this as it had a breakout. It's in an uptrend. It's through all of its EMAs. It came out of a correction. It's considered a leading stock because look, it didn't dip that far and boom. And even lately, it's still making higher lows. Even this one is higher than that. So this thing is, it's looking solid. Let me let me give you a little price target because I actually don't know. Let me just look at it um, and see if we can look at that together real quick. Okay, there it is, there you are. Okay, I like the volume. Again, this is turning above everything we got blue ribbons beautiful structures and impulses nice clouds didn't fall that much earnings per shares are growing um, everything looks really good we had the breakout today now our next spot that we need to watch out for is right here okay and that is $80.12. I won't be surprised if it makes it there tomorrow. And then you're looking at all-time high, which is right above that. And without looking at like a 52-week high and low, I'm going to say that that is uh, $80.99. So your first one is 
eighty dollars and seven cents, and then it goes up to about eighty-one bucks. Okay, now once you pass that, you're basically looking to have this whole thing repeat. Okay, into the next year. So Aries, it's it's one of those ones that if you were to buy it, you're not going to have to worry. It's like owning like a Microsoft or an Apple because the composite rating, the earnings per share, the pre-tax margin, the sales growth, I've already looked at everything for you. Plus the charts and technicals are, are really good, um, matched with the fundamentals and a ton of uh, institutional support. So Aries should be in your wheelhouse today. Um, you don't want to let this thing get away from you. You want to pick up that gain right there and then take it to the top, okay? All right, <clears throat> next premium technical. If you guys haven't hit the like, hit the like button, okay? Okay, I told you guys about this uh, in one of my first videos. I am super bullish on this stock. Um, it is called Antero Resources. I bought it at $10.83 and I've been adding about a thousand shares like one to two times a week ever since. Uh, not ever since, sorry, for about, I don't know, a month or so. But this is, oh, I love the stock. Um, there it is. <clears throat> I think this is going to 38 bucks. We got an $18 move ahead of us, okay? Now, what I like about this is this thing was screaming above the nine. I mean, it was like way up here. It finally took a breath, it came below the nine, and it just re-pierced. Super premium, it's not overextended, it's above everything, it's in a huge uptrend, volume is coming in, relative strength is up, blue line's over the purple, and we're just now crossing the stochastic. This is the time that Intero Resources makes its next, next leg up, okay? Um, I do think your first pit stop is $20.76. And if I could just get it over here for you, let's see. All right, there it is. I love this stock, guys. This has been just a gold mine for me, I mean, Look at this run. Look at this run, guys. This run is so good, I gotta put it on the weekly just to get it on the chart. That's how sick this run is. Okay, this right here, it fell off, okay? This is way, this is years ago. Years ago it did this. This is 2018 over here, okay? We're on a weekly. Look at this cup, okay? It has now been going up for 11 months straight. I've already counted for you. It's made two huge impulse structures. Look at this. Month after, these are monthly candles. Look how many of them are blue in a row. Little retracement, all blue. Little retracement, this is where I told everybody to rebuy, and, and we're up and running, and we got the swing high break of the cup and handle. And Terra Resources um, could get to $45.62. Okay, that's over 100% from here. Okay. I'm probably gonna add another thousand shares tomorrow and I'm getting way deep in the stock. Like I have a lot of shares already and I'm all about getting more. But look, your first, your first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hit this uh, 2269 and uh, which is you know $2.30 further than where you are. And then you got, you got a few things going on in here. I mean, we can walk through it, but basically you got 2654 looks like something. This is a, a very tight base. I really like that structure. That's going to pay out. That's going to be a 28.22. Then you're coming up to this uh, $30.52. Um, oh, I'm on the weekly too. Maybe I can, I'll get a little more precise for you, but let's see. I forgot I was on the weekly. Okay, well, it's not even letting me. This thing is such a monster that I can't even bring the chart down. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, let's go back to a weekly. All right, so look, you got your cup, your handle, your breakout, your breakout, your breakout, and you are on your way up. I mean, this thing could go all the way back. It's also in the best sector. It could go all back to all-time high of $68.01. That would be a 300%, a 3x from here. Okay, it could do that. But what I like to do is kind of take like a ladder step or barbell approach or however you want to, you know, look at it. And I like to go piece by piece. Price target one, price target two, price target three, price target four, price target five, price target six, which is the major one. And then you don't have any resistance, okay? From the time you get to 30, 
the time you get to 45, you don't really have any resistance going on. So <clears throat> it's not too late. Look at all this that you can make back. And it's in the number one sector that's moving right now. So, and they just got a huge contract. Oh no, that's a different stock, sorry. That was a different stock that I told you guys to buy as well, called AMTX. Um, AMTX just bounced off the 20. Looks like it's time to, um, to double down on that one. Volume is coming in really good. Uh, it is still outperforming the index. This is a nice shape right here. I mean, this thing is running. You're, you're coming up, you're curving a little bit, but I'm not worried. It needed to breathe, and now it's going to go on its next run, okay? And Terra Resources, AR is the ticker. All right, so we hooked you up. We gave you <clears throat> Playboy, Aries, and Antero Resources. Now, Asana, um, you know, look, let's just, let's just do a, a, a look at this. Now, I told you guys to buy this weeks ago. Um, you were supposed to be buying this when I told you to buy it here, which was at 76 dollars. But actually, I don't think I told you to buy it there. I think I told you to buy it like up in here, like around 83 or 84 or something like that. Well, look at it, it's at 127 bucks. Okay, then that's that's for my Discord guys. Then, then we had a uh, we had the um, the YouTube channel thing started, and I told everybody to start buying this again right right when it came off the thirty, and from there was ninety nine dollars. Okay, you're up you're up twenty seven dollars since I started the YouTube a couple weeks ago, and this thing this thing went up another eight point two seven percent. So you're up you're up twenty one twenty two percent on this since I recommended it. Today you had a breakout. Okay, I told you I'm a breakout trader. You had a breakout, so this means that it's the beginning of this whole new run. These big breakouts signify the next major leg up for a big run. Okay, this thing's not going to stop. Asana is loved and adored, and it is, um, what do you call it? Not a bellwether, but it's a Wall Street darling. Okay, it's just a secret one. Okay, Asana is a Wall Street darling. Had its breakout, super bullish, not extended, uh, took a little breath, didn't get knocked out um, on the on the mat with the with the um, the correction, and all of our indicators look good. I still think you need to be in a sauna. I have been plugging this for weeks, and if you guys just listen to that recommendation, you guys would be up a lot of money right now on a sauna. I'm still keeping Asana in my premium technicals list right now. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, this thing is sick. Okay. Yeah, you just broke all-time high with a big breakout. And you didn't get the handle. You got the cup. Sometimes you get a cup breakout. Okay. Um, the handle, the cup and handle. It's actually called cup with handle. But we all call it cup and handle because it flows off the tongue better. Um, the cup and handle... Uh, it does have a little bit higher probability for a bigger strength move, but right below it is the cut breakout. So out of the 38 patterns, um, I think it's 38 or 33, I can't remember. I'm going to go back and look at some of my old books. Um, volume, volume spike, breakout, passing all-time high. I love this stock, man. I'm, I'm making a lot of money on this stock. Like when you're when you're a trader, um, day trader, swing trader, whatever it is, uh, let's just say swing trader, like I am, you, you're gonna take some small losses along the year because you're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna set my alert right below, I'm gonna buy right above if there's volume and everything indicates, and then I'm gonna set my stop right below. So let's say you were to buy that on that line at 121.77, and then let's say you were to put your stop. Um, what I like to do. Let me just show you guys. I got a lot of people that ask me questions about stop losses. Let me just give you like just a super, I'm not going to go through everything, but I want to just give you one way that a lot of, a lot of people do it. Um, a lot of professionals do it this way. This is one of the ways that I do it. It's not the only way. So right here is $8 and five cents. I'm going to tell you guys a little trick. Okay. You go to, you put your ATR, which stands for average true range as an indicator, and you divide it in half. So if it was 805, it just just call it four, just call it 402, we'll just call it four bucks, okay? What you're gonna do is 
you can do it a couple ways. It depends how like tight you want to be. Um, some people, what they do is they they'll they'll do it from uh, four dollars below this line, and some people will do it the four dollars below the. I can't even find it on six hour. This thing is so bullish; it's ridiculous, guys. My God. So that is one eighteen, and that is one twenty one. So it pretty much matches up. So you could you could take it from these wicks right here, which is the same as the average true range is telling you to do. A real swing trader, uh, if you were running it for the whole gamut, you were looking to go really, really long, you would actually be putting it right here. Okay, this is this is what you do when you're in a real big bull market like we're about to go into, I think. Um, I've been playing more on the 6 EMA and the 9 EMA lately for my stops because it's, you know, I've been waiting for the accumulation on the macros. But when when it's super bullish, what you do is you get your baseline break right here and when it shows up with volume like it did, you just place your stop right there and then the next time it comes up and comes down it should be a higher low and when it goes up you move your stop from here to that next spot okay and that's that's you know it's like a ladder step and um big companies that have really good earnings and sales and technicals and everything is kind of moving in the right direction and i'm not talking like like five ten percent earnings that's not going to get anybody stimulated and excited i'm talking like like even 25 percent earnings per share this quarter versus a year ago is still not even like cutting it i'm talking like 50 80 200 500 percent increases that's going to get some excitement moving and those are the kind of stocks that have these huge runs one to two quarters after so um yeah uh asana asana is looking real good it just had its break and i just wanted to show you a little bit a little basics on stops okay so when you have the breakout okay when you have the breakout and it comes with volume what that means is you you buy over the line not under because you don't want to buy into resistance and get rejected you want to buy right over the line so you set an alert here you set your buy there you set your stop down here using the atr and then you let it run Okay, don't worry if it goes up 13 and the next day it comes down six and then it goes up 11 and it comes down four. You're going up and up and up and that's just the way the stocks work, you know. All right, next premium technicals for you guys. Uh, hit the like button, guys. Hit the like button. I had uh, only about a third of you guys that watch my videos are hitting the like button. And uh, I'm trying to hook you guys up. I'm trying to help you out, you know. Um, now this is... Okay, I told you in the last video, I've kind of backed down personally from a lot of the Chinese stocks that I used to like, like JD.com is a great company, Baba, Alibaba, um, and I kept Neo because I didn't want as much exposure to China as it's already hard enough to navigate sometimes with just the politics and everything going on where I live in the United States. Um, but I got to put this on the list for you because the technicals are so proper. I mean, they are legit right now, okay? This is Baidu. Okay, Baidu is looking, it's looking sharp. Um, it's below the 200 though. Why did I pick Baidu above, below the 200? There must be something that I loved about it. Well, obviously the institutional support. Okay, so this thing's not going anywhere. And this is, oh yeah, this is from a couple days ago. Okay, that's what I saw. Yeah. Okay. So this thing just crossed through and I, it crossed through with direction. It crossed through with big direction. So let's go look at Baidu a little closer. I don't like that it's below the 200. Um, but I love that institutional support. There must be something in this chart I really like. I don't even think I put it in here yet. I don't own this. Okay, let's go see. Yeah, it's on here. Oh, yeah, I went up 8% today, too. Yeah, I'm a day late. Okay. Okay, this is what I saw. I can already see it immediately. It's got a trend reversal. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this over and over and over until I get it through everybody's head of how important this is. When a stock does this, and everybody's, like, super excited, it's euphoric, and you're getting paid, you're getting rich, you're stacking chips, and then it falls apart. If you're with me, you got your stop here, and when it falls apart, you get stopped out, you're moved to cash, and then, you know, if you want to, you know, if you're like a short person, if you want to go short, what you do is you wait for 
um, you know, it to make high, uh, lower highs. And then you just short it here and you just you go all the way down. Well, then what you do is you wait for it to validate a bottom. Okay. You wait for it to validate a bottom like this. You got to wait. You just never know where it's going to be until it does it. Well, it actually touched it and the very next day touched it again and the very next day touched it again. That's three touches, but they're close. Now, this leg, this is a, a W, okay? And this leg is higher. It's considered a technically a higher low, okay? And you can, you can kind of take a look and say, okay, well, it's not that steep yet. Um, it looks to me like Chris by January 25th, it's, it's, you know, it, it's, it's going up and follows this trajectory, but it's not following that trajectory guys. It's not following that trajectory at all. It has made up its mind and created a pivot low momentum turn with volume increase. And we are now going up like this. Okay. So now November 15th. You're back at 209.61, which happens to be a major, major swing high breakout. Yeah, this is what I saw. And I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy like 300 shares of this tomorrow. Um, oh, and you're coming into earnings. Okay, I wanna. I wanna tell you something. Um, Okay, lately I've been I've been uh, talking to a lot of new students, and I've been doing um, some one on ones and some Zoom calls and stuff. And I I didn't really know how bad it was out there. Um, I didn't really know how many people got themselves into trouble with with not knowing so much. Um, you know, I'm not going to talk about any specifics. I would never do that. I'm just not that kind of person, and I just would never do that. But um, I, look, we got to stay. Let's just let's just leave it like this. Um, we got to stay in the right sector. Okay, we got to use stop losses. Okay, like an example. You buy this, it had its breakout over a swing high, indicating a trend reversal at a strong angle. And, oh, there you are. You're touching the 200. Okay, you made it over the 200. Can you guys see that? See that little that little wick? It touched over. Okay, that's why I'm giving you the approval. Look at your ribbons. They're turning. Your five to nine is turning. You're outperforming. Everything is looking good. Um, so, Baidu is a buy. But this is, what I, this is what I wanted to tell you. This is what I was getting out at the beginning. I know a lot about everything in the markets, okay? And if you're a trader, one thing that professional traders are really nervous about and hesitant about and leery about is trading around earnings. Now, Okay, so estimates are in line with their last quarterly earnings. Okay, hopefully we get a surprise on Baidu. Um, but look, traders get really nervous. And what I want you guys to do, I'm going to give you a pro tip. If you're going to buy something like this that I recommend over the line with a breakout, moving above all your EMAs with volume, outperforming, and everything looks like it's about to win. I mean win. You're at the beginning of the trend reversal. So again, everything that this happened, just reverse it and it's all going to go all the way back up. Just as long as this took, it's probably going to take that long to get there. So this is a good entry because you validate a bottom, you made a higher low, you had momentum with volume, and you broke your first swing high indicating a trend reversal and just tipped above the 200 EMA. Yeah, sick. And look at this angle. So this thing is going to move for you. Um, Baidu is a good buy. But what I want you to do is when you come up on this earnings, normally I ask you to set a stop loss. If you're going to swing trade with me, I'm going to give you another tip on how to do this. We're not just going to set a stop loss. We're going to set a stop limit. The reason we're going to do that is because, and we're going to go through this in the courses. We're going to talk about gaps and exhaustion gaps and all this different stuff. 
But if this thing were to gap down in say pre-market and you had your stop right here and it went way down here, if you just if you put your stop here and it goes here, that means that you're getting you know your you know the executed price um, when it opens. So it might just pass this and you might get screwed and lose a ton of money. I don't want that to ever happen to you guys. So what you're going to do is you'll have your stop and then you're you're going to place a stop limit just right below, saying, "Hey, this is this is you know if it gaps below and it comes back up, then that's where I'm willing to sell." It. And in the morning you could take off the limit if you want. So basically, if it were to gap way down here and it were to come back up like they usually do um, very quickly, then you know you didn't you didn't take this whole loss because you have the limit order as a, a second layer of protection. And I I tend to always do that around earnings. That's a little secret pro pro tip if you don't use stops or you don't know uh, how crazy it can get around earnings and um, whatnot. So look, get Baidu on your list. You have Playboy, you have Aries, you have Ontario Resources, you have Asana, you have Baidu, and we're, you know, I'm giving you Apple. Look, Apple's going to 174. I told you in this morning's video, sorry, yesterday morning's video, um, it was going to have the breakout, and it did today, didn't it? It had the breakout. Well, you're at the beginning of the new run. So Apple's on its way to 174, okay? And I'm sure I have Apple in here. I thought I put it in here. There it is. Okay. So Apple is above all its EMAs. It bounced off support where the algos were and the institutions were. It came up a level. It had momentum. And there's the breakout. It was uh, yesterday morning. It was down here. And I said, it's going to break out past here with volume. And if it does, this blue line will cross. And what happened? It went above it. It's now above it. You got the volume and the blue line came across. Who loves it, baby? You're at the beginning. Apple's about to run, okay? You're definitely hitting that all-time high of 157.25, but I'm just going to tell you right now, you're going to 170, 172, 31, 174. You're going to that range by New Year's, okay? It's looking good. Put Apple in your wheelhouse. Now, Apple is a little different around earnings. Um, yes, things will be baked in. But you don't need to be as paranoid with your stops. I think what you do with a, a company like Apple is you could just put the stop. Um, what you know? Let's go look at another one so you have a better visual. So what I was thinking is is something more like, oops, something more like the 50 EMA. You don't have to get so crazy like you're day trading with something like Apple. You can you can let the sucker run. Okay, it's going to have its little ups and downs, but it's going up. Um, look, it just crossed everything. It just bunched up everything. It just went through the 9 EMA. Whew, if you've been watching my videos, you know how important this is, okay? So what I would do is if you were to buy this thing, I mean, don't even freak out. Like, just, just realistically, just put it right here at the swing. Just, I know it sounds like a lot, but put it at 140.72 on your stop. Give it some wiggle room. Give Apple a little bit of wiggle room. It's not going to hit it. It's not going to hit it. Because what's going to happen is it's probably going to go up a little bit. And when it comes down, it's going to come down here and it's going to go up. And notice when I said here, I'm talking about the 50. So you're going to be raising it in a week or two from your buy tomorrow uh, from the 140. 83 and then you're going to be probably up closer to like 147.09 so you're going to be raising it pretty quick give it some wiggle room because this thing could do something like this and there, i have a i have a reason why i'm trying to advise you on this this particular way uh, this is not working out too good is it okay okay so see how they all bunch up if you would have entered right there and you just had your stop say on the 200, well, you, you ran this whole thing and you got out and you ran this whole thing and you're still in. But let's say you're just getting in, you know, right here. We want to let this thing breathe. And eventually if it gets rough and you start hearing all this FUD out in the news, we'll raise it from the, you know, first we'll raise it from the swing, then we'll raise it to the 50, then we'll raise it to the 30 and then the 20 and then the nine. And by the time that happens, it'll look like this. The 50 will be below the 30, the 30 will be below the 20, the 20 will be below the 9. Okay, a lot of my trades, I swing the 9. So when I pierce the 9, 
I write all this and then I cut out of the nine or I even cut out the six, which I haven't talked to you guys about yet, but uh, that's just super tight way of doing things. But I got to repurchase and I got to trade a lot more when I do that. So um, Apple, you know, buy Apple, get Apple on there. Feel proud that you have Apple. It's an anchor. It's a safe one. Um, it, it, it rallies first and it leads all the Dow stocks and all the, the big tech Apple does. Okay. I've been in it for almost eight years. I know a lot about Apple been through two splits too. Um, Apple accelerates. Uh, let me just show you. Here's an acceleration. Last time we had that whole like, you know, thing that happened in, uh, February 12th through May 13th or whatever it was, May 19th. Look at Apple, how it just rallied all the way up. I mean, that's like, uh, it's pretty crazy. Look at this, look at this rally. 123.28 to 157.37, so 123.157. That's what's happening now. Look at the structure. See this right here? See these four, the breakout off the bounce? That's this right here, one, two, three, four. See how it's red? See how it's red? See how it's turning? See how it turned? What happened? Who loves you, baby? Now we do need to pay attention to this. Let's just put this on since we're getting back into Apple. I never left it, but I mean, in case you are gonna add or your first time buying it, whatever. Um, this is a good time to buy Apple. Okay, this area is something that I wanna watch out for like we went up and then we hit this area and now we're going to go way up. I'm wondering if there's going to be an area like that. Let's leave that on the chart and just see what happens a few months up the road. Um, get Apple in there. I mean, these are things that you need to be buying like this morning. Okay. Um, Square. All right, let's go look at Square. Uh, Square has been one of my big hitters uh, for years. I, I keep running this one. Uh, it might seem high, but like I've told you, don't worry about price, okay, when you're when you're trading like this. Now, Square Square and Apple are ones that you could keep. And actually, actually, Aries, Antero Resources, Asana, Baidu, Apple, Square, and the next one are all long-term keepers. I don't know about Playboy, uh, but Playboy is a moneymaker right now. I'll tell you what, like you, you snap that up real quick and you make money. I told you I made like eight racks on that um, just between yesterday and today. So... It's quick money. All right, look, Square has come up through everything and it's piercing right now and they're bunched up. I like that. That is a go. That is like a really good go. Everything's good on your indicators. Um, this thing is, uh, I think this is going right here to the 281 and I actually think it's going to go to like 330. Um, I do you have a reason why I think that? I don't know where I'll get square. I don't think I have square in here. Okay, so square. Square just came down. It just came down and it validated its support right here. Hit the like button, guys. Give me a solid, man. I'm trying to help you guys out and uh, teach you some stuff, give you some good picks. When I do, when I do the premium technical picks, like they're gonna run. I want to show you something. Um, oh, I can't pull up all the pictures in my computer. That would be crazy. <laughs> um, hold on. Okay. The other day, I told you guys do me a favor. And I want you to create a watch list called Wheelhouse in your Yahoo, your Market Watch, your Weeble, whatever it is. And uh, somebody that watched the video did that, and he sent me a picture. And this is what he sent me. Can you see that? It's called Wheelhouse, and every single thing is green. Do you guys know how crazy it is to pick 14 stocks, and then all 14 of them go up with an average of 15%? in the first week. Do you know how crazy that is to get on YouTube and make a bold statement like that and hit 14 out of 14? It's pretty sick, dude. It is sick to do that. I do that all the time. And when I claim premium technicals like I did tonight, um, these ones that I'm giving you are gonna be good. I'm just gonna repeat them because uh, 
because these, these, I did I did a lot of work for you guys, okay? So Playboy, Aries, Entero Resources, Asana, Baidu, Apple, Square, and we're about to get to the last one. Now, I think this, this has been consolidating. I see a lot of stuff. We can do, I'm gonna do a video on Square, actually. I'm gonna do a video on Square. We're gonna, we're gonna dig in deep on this. But this thing's going above 300, okay? Um, I'll tell you why when I do the video, but you wanna get in Square right now. Uh, this has a lot of bullish things going on, okay? Your five to nine turn, you bounced off your support, you validated a bottom, you got multiple momentum, you had a breakthrough, you had a pattern breakthrough, another breakthrough, which was today. You definitely got your trend reversal in play and you're about to make another higher high. So high, low, higher high. Goes up, comes down, and then you break this one, okay? 267, and you're gonna go through all this and then you're gonna go even higher, okay? Square's about to rally right now. Um, I do know a lot about this particular stock. I've made a lot of money on this one. Um, so look, get square in there. Now the last one, and this is one I, I should have told you guys about weeks ago, and I kind of, I guess I was selfish or greedy, or I don't know, just maybe I was an idiot or whatever, but I, I got in Adobe. I was talking to my buddy, Dr. Mo, and when they had the earnings, it dropped like $27, and I was like, Dr. Mo, let's let's snap that up. Let's snap up Adobe right now. That was here on this wick. We picked that up. We picked that up. And the guys that were in uh, one of the discords that I'm a moderator and and I love that that particular discord. Um, uh, a lot of good people in there. We, you know, they they saw that that we picked that up. But look at this thing. It's gone all the way from this 552, which we grabbed it uh, right at uh, open. And it it had its it had its uh oh my god it has this breakout tomorrow oh this is gonna run this is the one I'm gonna put a lot of money in god that's sixty three grand for a hundred shares all right we'll grab we'll grab one hundred and fifty and uh, it'll be worth it because it is going to have its breakout tomorrow this momentum and that turn and this volume and these indicators oh. Oh my God, Adobe is so good. Also, look, I told you the other day, Snowflake and ServiceNow, ServiceNow went up $15 today. I told you guys, buy that, it's gonna go up $30 this week. It's already done 15 of the 30 that I said it was gonna go. Um, I give you I give you the bomb stuff, guys, like super bomb, 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 diggity, bomb, fire technicals, okay? Um, we can dig deep, I'm not digging deep, I'm just, I've already done the, the work for you and I'm just trying to speed it up because I know these YouTubes can get long. But look, man, do me a favor, uh, I hook you up, you hook me up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, tell a couple of your friends about the channel, let's get them paid too. Let's all stack chips together, let's become Jedis. I'll, I'll keep you informed on what's going on with the Discord, and just real quick, make that wheelhouse watch list, okay? You're gonna be adding in, you're not taking anything out, actually I should do a video on what you might wanna be taking out, there are a couple that are, are uh, looking like they're coming to the top, but uh, I, we won't go through that right now. In your wheelhouse watch list, you should have some really good stocks that have made you a ton of money. Add Playboy, Aries, Antero Resources, Asana, Baidu, Apple, Square, and Adobe. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to the wheelhouse. Who loves you, baby?